with the recent you know performance on the market and how some of the biggest stocks owned by hedge funds have been performing it's no surprise that they are losing a ton of money i mean this may not be something you will ultimately think but yes the truth is things are not looking good for hedge funds it was already the case by the beginning of the month i mean the beginning of the year but with what we're already seeing now currently um it might get even worse so i'm talking about a research where the most popular hedge fund stocks have suffered the worst ever performance relative to the S&P 500 after a series of earnings stocks, Goldman Sachs says. So this is something put out by Goldman Sachs, so not to be taken lightly. Well, the bank uh, uh, found that most popular hedge funds long positions suffered their worst 12 month return relative to um, the S&P 500 on record. Goldman's started tracking the data in 2002 and created a VIP index that consists of hedge fund managers very important positions. Since early 2021, our hedge fund VIP basket has lagged the S&P 500 by 21 percentage points. The worst 12 months, the worst 12 month stretch in the baskets for 20 year history. Year to date, the basket has returned minus 12 percent versus the minus 9 percent for the S&P 500. So, how does it relate to AMC? Well, the thing is, we all know what is happening here with AMC. Bunch of these short sellers that are actually, you know, preventing the stock from doing what it's supposed to do are owned by big hedge funds. When Goldman Sachs tell you that, well, since early 2021, so it hasn't began, it hasn't begun so far in 2022. It was already the case in 2021. Why? Because easy money was there. They were using money pumped out by the Federal Reserve. And now that the Federal Reserve is about to pull that money out of you know, the market and increase interest rates, what can you expect? More difficult times ahead for the hedge funds. But on top of it, if the market represented by the S&P 500 here, it's down 9%. Those positions held by the hedge funds, by the way, we're talking about the most popular, are down 12%, so worse than the market. So what do you think is going to be next coming from clients on these hedge funds, especially as we get into 2022? They're going to say, they're going to question if it's more relevant for them, if it makes sense for them to have their money tied into hedge funds because they are losing money. They're losing more money than a regular index fund. So they will be better off with just putting that money into a regular index fund. So why do, we, do I need to go to, to a hedge fund and pay a hectic fee for you to manage my money if I can do a better job? That's the big question, because the reality is they are losing money. So that was based on year date. But so far, you know, with this whole... Ukraine thing, you know, with inflation, because whether you want to believe it or no, Ukraine crisis directly impacts inflation. So if you thought inflation is going to be here for maybe six months and will pick down, well, it doesn't seem like it's going to be the case if this whole thing is not resolved. Why? Because by imposing more sanctions on Ukraine, I mean, on, on Russia, ultimately you're sending prices of energy and commodities upper so things are gonna go a lot more higher than we want it to go and we want it to 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 be so just to say that things are not looking good for hedges out there so if you think things are not getting being looking good for the big ones how do you think things will be looking for the small hedge funders you know the small short sellers that are not even hedge funds maybe a simpler tr a simple trading firm that are betting against amc stock they're going to bail pretty quick, pretty faster and quicker than the big guys. Because if it's already difficult for the big guys, then for the little guys, it's going to be even worse. So we are waiting for this chain of events to start having that cascade, you know, uh, 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 effect. Because on, I mean, with the margin calls that UBS already issued to the clients today, based on the collateral that, you know, uh, some of these clients were using, part of the Russia bonds, now that it's worth almost zero, you can't use that anymore. So money is drying up, liquidity is drying up. You can use the same collateral that I used to do, that I used to in order to 
maintain your positions, either you add cash or you add under security, but pretty much everything is falling and money is getting tied up. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to fold. When you fold, we reap. That's just how it works. You know, when you lose, we win. Because so far we've been losing because you guys were winning. So it's time for the reversal to happen. Simple.